I. Our videos usually show us starting processes, like the application server, from the command prompt. Now this is great for testing and development, but when you're ready to deploy, you'll want to create a Windows service to manage the application server. Now you can create that service either from the installation setup by answering yes when asked about installing this service, or from the command line using one of these install commands. These commands will install a service called iscobol space server and the version number. If you want to call it something else, just put the name after the command. Once the service is installed, you can use the Windows Service Manager to stop and start, or you can use the IS Server wrapper routines from a command line. Errors and other output from the Application Server service is written to the iscobol bin directory, and they're called isserver underscore error dot log and isserver underscore out dot log. The server looks for configuration files in four places. The isserver.vm options file and iscobol.properties in the etc directory, the home directory of the user that started the service, and the class path. The vm option file is a good place to pass Java options to the Windows service. To pass your COBOL settings, use an external properties file instead of setting them here. The example on the screen specifies myapp.properties as the COBOL properties file. It also sets the initial Java heap size to double the default, and it appends the path to my application directory and my application jar file to the class path. So let's take a look at how that works. First, we're going to install the service during the installation process. I've downloaded the setup from our website, and I'll double-click on it. We'll go to Next and accept the agreement. Make sure that we install the products plus the server. I'll choose the Java 11. I'll take the default location to install in. I don't need any of these. Say yes there and yes. And when this question comes up, I'll say yes. I want to install the service is COBOL Server 2022 R2. I'm going to keep the default port and I'm going to run just the application server, not any of the other three. And I already have my license file, so I'll say no. And next, and next, and finish. Next, I'll open up my services window, do a refresh, and I can see my iscobol server right here. It's an automatic, and it's running. So that's one way to install the service. Now I'm going to stop the service here, and we'll start it from the command prompt. Now let's take a look at the configuration. First I want to look at the VM options file, and this is how it was installed. I'm going to add my configuration file, and I want to append the location of my classes to the class path. Dash P is prepend. Dash A is append. There go. We'll save that. Let's go take a look at this myapp.properties. It's right here. I'm setting a trace file for now, and I'm setting my file prefix and code prefix to my folder where the application resides. So let's start IS server. First, we install it. We'll make it my service. And then we'll start it. we can check it and it's running and then we'll run the bars program just to make sure it's working and it is now we're in the bin folder let's see what kind of output we have it looks like we have an IS server out and it's telling me that the server was started and let's look at the service. I'll refresh, 
And remember I called it my service and here it is my service it is running and it's an automatic here's a quick look at creating a Windows service for your application server there's more information in the documentation I hope you take a look and if you have any questions we're at support at variant.com thank you